This is AppChasers.com and today we're taking a look at an awesome document management app by one of our favorite app developers, Riedel. Today we're looking at PDF Expert 5, which is their latest and greatest app for managing everything on your iPad, uh, such as, well, as the name implies, PDF documents, but it also helps manage any folder that you might have stored in Dropbox or locally on your iPad. So let's get, take a look. You see right here, it's down here on the uh, bottom right hand corner, so we'll open up PDF Expert. And you can see it's got a beautiful interface designed for iOS 7. Here we have a number of our folders which are synced to our Dropbox account uh, displaying in the main panel here. You can see our meeting folder is currently syncing. And uh, we've also got on the left hand side our navigation pane where we can look into our documents, our iCloud sync, um, of course our networked uh, folders and accounts that we have through networks such as Dropbox. And then also under that we've got a listing of our most recent documents that we've been viewing in PDF Expert 5. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the documents that we have and we'll show you some of the features of PDF uh, Expert 5. So we've got a pretty boring PDF here. Uh, you can see it's a product information uh, information uh, document for the new 2014 Corvette Stingray. Pretty boring uh, document here, but you can view it in full screen or if you just tap right in the center, it'll bring back the uh, uh, the different tools that we have available, which we'll get into right now. So as you look here, first of all, looking at the top of the screen, we've got uh, different annotation tools that are available, which is very nice and a step above and beyond what Riedel's other document reader app called Documents will allow you to do. Documents allows you to highlight, uh, but that's about as far as it goes, highlights and notes, but PDF Expert 5 will allow you to actually add uh, text information, which we'll show you right now. So if we go up here, and we click on the uh, highlighter tool. This will bring up a nice uh, tool pane to the left. You can see that that came in right there on the left. We can go ahead and hit text and it says tap where you want to insert text. So this is a smart text tool. We'll click there and we'll start typing. This is a test of PDF Expert 5 and we can go ahead and change the size of that text. Uh, we can change the different styles here of the text and we'll go back to regular and we can also change the font here. A nice feature of PDF Expert 5 is that it has smart text annotation. So for example if part of the screen is already uh, has text on it, it'll automatically uh, adjust where we can type on our document. So let's show you what that means here. So we'll go over here and let's say we're going to want to type right in this section here over on the left hand side. So we'll go into our type tool again. We'll say this is the PDF. Oh, see how it started a new line there because it automatically recognized that we were going to run into text and we might be overlapping. A really nice feature. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll get back out of there and we'll show you some of the highlighting. That's the pen tool, excuse me. We'll just go ahead and start uh, highlighting some space, some text here. And once you highlight, just like iOS 7 always does, by dragging and you can move these uh, toggles here. Uh, you can highlight, you can change the color by tapping on it again. It's a little bit too dark. And you can remove by hitting clear. Let's go ahead and highlight that again. We'll show you some of the other uh, features here. We've got underline and you can change the colors of that. We'll clear that out. 
we've got uh, strikeout you can change the colors of that as well so a lot of nice options for uh, going through and marking up documents uh, PDF specifically and PDF expert now let's go ahead and look at this very interesting new feature that Riedel has developed here and I, we haven't seen this before on any uh, document reader on the iPad we'll go ahead here and we'll click saw that right up in the upper section here next to uh, the highlight tool then there's the text tool which shows us uh, we can put it in night mode sepia and we can choose our scrolling method methods here but we'll go ahead and go back to the next one here and that's our markup this is going to allow us to actually change the text of a flattened PDF document which we've never seen before very cool we'll go ahead and click on one of these uh, paragraphs here and we can as we'll show you here we can go ahead and delete and we'll hit done so we've just changed our PDF now we can also go here at the top where it says markups and we can see what we changed so very cool now if we go back into uh, let's say out of um, the markup viewer here you can see this is what we changed right here it ends with the fighter jet where it used to say it starts we'll go out and now just viewing our document as it is we can see it didn't really preserve that edit but it just created a note and a strikeout here so actually what you can do here is in markups go back here you can export the new file with the new edits that you've already put in place as if you never changed anything but it always looked like what you wrote in there you'll do that by saving preview and we can hit done and there we go now it's going to save that off and it's actually just going to put it in our top level documents folder now this uh, PDF is pretty boring looking so let's go ahead and spruce it up a little bit this is a neat feature that we really liked here if you just hold on a blank section of the PDF you'll still see that you can get a note here we can add uh, notes to our documents and we'll be done with that now we can access it at any time and uh, let's see what else we have in this menu we have text which we already showed you that's the same text tool we can go back and we can change the color of that uh, let's go to the next page here we'll show you this really cool feature uh, image we can actually insert an image in our document so you notice this uh, document this PDF about the Corvette doesn't have any images in it so let's spruce it up a little bit by adding some of our own so we just went there we had an image already saved in the camera roll and we just said insert image from photo library we'll grab another one there and we can add images right into our PDF so pretty cool that Riedel has uh, figured out how to do that we can also uh, add sounds hello this is a test of this adding a sound to a PDF and now we've got a sound right in there we'll click and it goes ahead and plays that sound just embedding it right into the PDF file so you can see here there's tons of uh, features that Riedel has uh, added to PDF Expert 5 that we really love you'll notice here we've got tabs across the top which we can scroll through our different uh, PDFs that we currently have open now <clears throat> another neat feature is let's go back into our Corvette document here and if we wanted to let's say we have this up uh, we'll go over here to our page uh, this is page 5 of 13 and we've got basically the performance parameters being shown here let's say we wanted to actually put this as page 2 instead of page 5 well we can do that just click right there you see this little uh, looks like four squares in the upper left hand corner we'll click that that will give us a page preview which is nice for navigation but it also works for reordering pages what we do is we'll hit edit and we can just click on the page that we want and uh, we'll say oh actually we don't even need to do that 
we don't even need to hit edit we just hold the page and we can drag it wherever we want so we can just put it as page two there we can also email specific pages let's say you have uh, well I just you know just want to email page two as well as uh, page um, seven here so we'll just go ahead and email that and we can create a new PDF document to send by email of just those two pages. We can also extract just those two pages to a new document that will save to our documents folder within uh, PDF Expert 5. We can also copy, delete pages, rotate pages, number of different things we can do right here in this page preview view. We'll close that out. Go back into our main view here of PDF Expert 5 and we'll show you some of the drag and drop features. If you just hold down on a file you can drag it into a folder and uh, keep dragging just like on a, a Mac computer. You can also drag it back to where we originally were by holding up here. Let's go back right to the main uh, there we were, that's where it originally was. And you can also delete like that. Just scroll, just hold and drag down to the lower left corner and you can just delete a document and it'll just ask you to confirm that. And there we go. Very neat uh, document management app for the iPad. Now don't be fooled, PDF Expert 5 can do more than just manage PDFs. It can manage multiple uh, file formats such as videos. You can actually watch videos right in PDF Expert 5. So very nice if you have videos that you want to add. It will do audio, video, pictures, PDF documents, Word documents, PowerPoint documents, Excel documents, right within this one app. Probably one of the most valuable apps we have on the iPad here. We're very uh, pleased with what Riedel has been able to do with PDF Expert 5. We can't wait to see what they do in the future, and we think you should really take a look at this outstanding app.